In 2012 to present, Hot Wheels has made their way over their 50th anniversary, making the best cars one of the moments. This week, I am presenting you the uh, the special video of the track stars, which will be seeing who's faster and who could be the ultimate track star. So, here's your presentation of Son of Beast. Here's a special shout out that I'm giving out. The one person that made this one is Race Grooves. Thank you to thanks to Mark with uh, with amazing look on him on his viewers that he did over the last um, over the last many years ago. Um, so if you're all thinking of Race Grooves, he's thinking like he's doing really well. I think his videos are everywhere. So if you guys check it out, he has. Um, I give him a special shout out to Race Grooves. Thank you so much for uh, for your appreciation. Almost got seven hundred uh seven hundred thousand. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't remember everything right now. But if you check out the videos out, make sure you do so. He's got so many other uh, Hot Wheels that he enjoys. He he does he does Hot Wheels, Matchbox, some play sets that he does, and of course, track time looking really well. I'm, I know, um, I was not into that, liter literally, but it looks like, um, some die-cast cars that he does a lot, but it looks like, uh, he does very well stuff right here, so if you guys want to subscribe to, uh, Race Grooves, make sure you do so. He has so many other videos that he could do, but this time, I'm showing you the, uh, the track stars, how it works. Something that you might notice of one of each car is faster. Like, here's an example. Gampa Vito 1. The only car that I have right now for each uh each model that I use. This car has um has a better uh, shape and it will fit right from the uh from the section right here. And sometimes in the back, it might go it might go free and then woof off it goes. So let, uh, let's pretend if I use a launcher. If uh, if it, if the car suddenly uh, gets a good grip, then they notice. But my event, my finger would do is to push the car right from here. But if you but if you use the other cars like uh, like uh, Berserk, like this, this is the other car. If it suddenly if it's if it's Berserk, then all of a sudden, then it will fly off uh, like out of control like. They they have no longer ability like uh, like I use it. Uh, you you mentioned this uh, other examples. When I try using this cars, some some cars flip up in the air like this, like it's a papa wheelie, like a papa wee, like a wheelie coming out so high high. Sometimes I use this car. So every time, so next time, oh, let me stop over right here. So next time you have a, you have a better basic car that uh, launches forward, then you have more, better look of it. So that's what I have to do. Now, here, let's go ahead and do some uh, some lineups for the track stars. All right, so the first car up we have is um, from, from 2012. I'm gonna start off with the uh, the track stars group. First up we have is Scorcher. Um, my first car was there since I just noticed um, um, that this car could be perfect. So once I went to Toys, Toys R Us, they got some a uh, good brand of cars that uh, that they uh, they have a, a good model to uh, to have it uh, to have a great for the track for the part that I do. So um, I I always use this car much right now. Um, this almost looks like a, this almost looks looks really good. Um, almost looks like a. Um, this almost looks like a race car when something like uh, the, like he comes around and then uh, and all of a sudden he notices something uh, that was coming out. You know that this is a car right here, and then you got the uh, track loop symbol right here. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's the first one I noticed here, and then the plastic base shows you uh, no track loop symbol on the bottom right there. So this is the first car out of twelve. The only model that I take is the first one. 
Next up we have is Open Roadster. Now I know that this one does not have a uh, track loop symbol right here, but um, if you have an Open Roadster that has a track loop symbol, that means this car, this Open Roadster, is a track star model. So I'm going to use this one as the as a 2001 part of the Open Roadster. Um, it's almost similar like Vulture Roadster. Uh, I'm I'm trying to get that in my head. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if this is the only brand car that I do for, but it looks like um, I have no I have no choice about that Open Roadster. But it looks all right. But um, sometimes it could be a little bit cocky. Well, going from the car, but from the track. But we'll find out if he does it okay. Looks like a brand car that's a model right here that gets through it. Now, number three we have is Circle Trucker. Uh, nice, uh, a car that um that has the uh, that has a truck, but kind of like a kind of like a NASCAR looking. But this long back of it of its tail. That means it comes out very, very long, and it's uh, almost uh, almost coming out re really long. But the but this brand car model is um yeah I have this uh, vehicle. I don't know why do I have it still. It doesn't have a track star uh, loops track loop symbol here, but he's great for that track, and he's also a track star if I noticed it correctly. So I didn't get the brand on the. The other brand that has the uh, track loop symbol, I only get this one, so this one's a much more better to get one here. Looks really well. I really enjoyed it. Almost looks like Circle Tracker, but I'll be uh, getting to it next after I name a brand all 12 cars, so I make it sure if it gets better. Next up, uh, we have is 24 Hours. Um, only car that... Uh, that we were uh, coming home from Ocean City, Maryland. I I recently got this good car. It's looking very, very good. And you got a track loop symbol here. The second one from the from the uh, from the track star list. That's um that's when you notice you could collect uh, once uh, once cars gets better. And there you got one on the bottom. Only one car that's in here. Um, I'm pretty sure. That when I did my 24 hour challenge, this car, I don't know why they named it 24 hours, because it comes out from uh, from midnight through the next day. So when I think about, uh, about the, uh, the 24 hours, then I say it's a whole whole day from the time from, from starting from the, the night, morning, afternoon, and then go back into evening. So, that's all I have to do. 24 hours. Gets better. Very good, uh, looks like, looks like an indie car, of course, but, uh, it's totally different. Looking really well. Now, the next brand, we have a good-looking car. Imbavito 1. Nice car, looking for it, and um, I'm seeing clear windows from the side and from the top, and you got a track loop symbol here, right down there. I think this car looks very, very, very sharp, because you can see that the, the colors looks nice. Um, you could see, the, they got the window right here, and uh, yeah, looks very good. I have nothing else to say about this car, but it looks very well, and I really like it uh, how uh, how they uh, cast up a design. I have other Impavita ones um, in the case right now, but um, I'm not gonna show you because I have two. I have like three of them for the Impavita one than this one. But I'll have to find out if I uh, if I get the better car of it region. Just very nice. Retroactive, only one car that has glow-in-the-dark wheels right from here, so it glows up. So when at night, it'll pop it open. Very cool checking this one out. And I, this looks very nice. Also, it could be fast too. You got a battery right there to, uh, to fill up your game. Hmm? Looks like a retro gamer. 
But this is retroactive. Almost almost looks like radioactive. <laughs> you guys remember this, uh you guys remember this music, right? How would you listen to uh radioactive? But this is re retroactive because um that's because of uh what um what the cars have the decals right here on the top and the battery right there in an outlet. I don't know why is there one, but uh, that does that does not help with some re realize. I think this car will work well really well. We'll have to test this one out after I name all new brand cars from the list. Next car we have is uh Dragonfly. I'm I'm kidding. It's Dragon Tail. Um, this is the car that I have is the uh, loop and drift. <laughs> Sorry with the confusion right now, but it looks very. It's 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 similar like a dragonfly, but this car this this is the this is Dragon Tail. But only one problem right now is um, looks a good car. One problem from the uh, from the from the top, as you could see, um, this is the. These tires are really like they're having a hard time when they go through the booster. And I checked it one time and then uh, all of a sudden I feel like something was popping already. So I don't know what to do with this uh, car. Looks like it's going out of shape. It's getting very hard to uh, to just fix it anyway. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna leave it like this. And we'll we'll find out if uh if if this works, all right. And then we got the track loop symbol on the wings, on each two. Bzz. I'm not, yeah, you know I'm not taking this uh, tail off, but it looks uh looks okay. Gets very well. You're looking at this dragon tail, are ya? <laughs> yeah, I know that. That that might be the only car that that happens here. Very good, and that came from the uh, loop and loop and drift once again. Next up is fast cash. This is the only uh, fast cash market that was ever uh, taken a look at this car, and it comes with a money clip, so you could stick your money, and uh, and you could uh, place it right on the car. And if you could check out Mark's race grooves. Fast Cash, multi-purpose Hot Wheels. Um, I'll put a link in the description right now, or at the end of the video. Um, race scoops up. I will put the uh, the channel out to make sure I have it here. So it looks like it's a very good car. I think I think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Looks very nice. Nitro Door Slammer. Only this car that has. Um, looks very excuse me like very long and uh, and mostly important it you can't see from that one but it looks like uh, I'm sorry you guys you might be blurring from this camera but it doesn't really good yeah it's not good looking at for the um, track loop symbol but there it is but instead instead it's got the, uh, the patch here hold on let me take that one out now, this is a wheelie bar that I noticed, but it looks like when it comes out, it might be going might be good for the track. But what obviously when he goes through the loop right now, he but you can't you know what like 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 what happens here you can't you can't have that uh wheelie bar out here or else he, he could slide off right now, he could get stuck up there and then uh come back down. He he might be uh might be edging it out. Other cars like a dragsters, they, they have bad tails out. They do have it every time. So, if you have Nitro Door Slammer's car that has a wheelie, uh, that tail that was already popped out, you can never put it back already. But if you have this fold up, you could do so. Let's put that back. And that's the only brand of the car that I do. Looks good. Alright. Make sure I have it here. Now it's time to look at the shiny. Look, we have shiny chrome. Oh, stop blurring at me. Okay. 
Um, this is Solar Reflex. As I uh, remember, uh, this looks like it's a shiny chrome. Looks uh, looks very nice. And you got a track loop symbol next to the number. Interesting enough, my favorite part, I'm track loop symbol down here. Uh, I have no details, but it looks like a looks really well. Very good. Now we have is split vision. The uh, the the car that uh, that that looks like a split from from each between here. Sorry for showing it. I'm, I'm not gonna show you from the camera because uh, something just getting distracting and tell is saying what happened with that finger. I'll tell you what. It happened. Um, when I was playing golf. Uh, golf uh, last week. My finger was getting very, um, very itching up, and it's all starting to burn right now. So I used this uh, heavy medicine to, uh, to clear the, um, to clear the, to clear the holes without uh, being, without being, uh, being affected. But it looks like um, I'll have to like stick them up from here. So don't worry here. But I, uh, yeah, I should wear golf gloves just to make sure it looks very good. But this one. Um, my index finger, it's, uh, it's coming to heal it up really good. Works really well, but the thumb is not. Now, um, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want, I don't want to talk about the, uh, too much stuff with the finger. I want to keep this moving. Right. Track loop symbol here. Gar, um, split vision right down here. There's your track loop symbol. Can you see it? Yep. Only car that I know is here. When 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 split vision gets very uh very intense, I mean, he's making a lot of noise right now. <laughs> uh, I can't I can't remember what this uh, vehicle looks like, but uh, this is looking very on on topic. Buy that car. I know. I couldn't help it anyway, but it doesn't seem like it will come out through enough to get through it, but it might be too much going through the car that I have. But it seems like it's popped open, popped off the track or anything. I can't remember it. Now we have is Mortal Blade. Ow! Ow. Okay, this is not sharp. <laughs> so, Mortal Blade. One of you guys are asking, say, does that look like Blade Runner? No, it isn't. It's so it's totally Mortar Blade. I don't know why Mattel just uh, called it Blade Runner. Since Mark was reviewing the uh, the Attack Pack Five Pack version, since I already buy this, and um, he noticed that uh, something was wrong. The name was Blade Runner. But it's not. See, Mortal Blade. That's what the. Can you see this name? Well, it could be strange. Well, seriously, don't have to worry. And it, and of course, you could see the cover right on the top. It pops off very easily. Let me. And you could. Oop. And you could take a look at the uh, difference between the uh, from the body and the cover. Looks really cool. I think you guys have one here, don't you? I think you should put it back on. His car uh, looking very good. I think uh, he might be he might be looking good to be the uh, great for the track. Could he? Maybe he could. Nothing else to uh, look at, but um, yeah, he could be the track star anyway. But uh, there is no track loop symbol here. He's a track star. He might be. You might have one, the uh, the track star, if you if you could think you could find one. Maybe you could. I may find one. Nerve Hammer. Only Chrome X Racer series that was um that was originated to be um the X Racer. Clear on it. And the uh, good decals in it to uh, to check out it a brand. 
and that's the track loop symbol. I have no, um, I don't have anything else to say about this car. Seems like it's very good. I, I know that one here. No track loop symbol here. Looks very good. Now, next car that Mark really likes. From Race Groove's favorite car, I call this Scoopa Di Fuego. Yep, um, and it could be a fancy name for this car, but because of um, how it looks, Scoopa Di Fuego. Fuego. So, if you say it, uh, here's the name how you pronounce it Scoopa. The first name that comes with it is a scoopa. It's a scoop, scoopa, D, not the D-E, a D-I, like a silent I, D, and fuego. Scoopa de, de fuego. Looks very good. Nice colors on the, uh, on the back and the front. And wheels. Fancy. Fancy car. Um, I know everything about that one here. Looks very, very interesting. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, um, but the last one on the list, uh, Torque Twister, you might be good look of it. Good look of a car. I don't know. I don't know why I made that scratch already, but it doesn't seem like it's going to come out right. But it looks very good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, of the unnamed uh, part of the list of the outside, but did not uh, belong with the list of the track stars. And starting off right now from the list, first up we have is Ultra Rage. Now when I th when I think about Ultra Rage, the same car, I uh, take a look and see uh, if if anything else, if he pops it up or he might be. He might be under control, or he might be no problem at all. So the first car I, I recently uh, think was um, they recent they want to know if I have the right idea to know what um, excuse me um, like like a, like a same car but has uh, that looks like a track star, and he does, and he is a track star, of course. And he's he joins in a list right now, but he's not in the 2012 group. So here's the track loop symbol right there, as I'm pointing right next to the three. Now, if you have a same car, hold on a second. If you have a same car like this model, this is the same number. You find that, and there's a there's the track loop symbol and track loop symbol. So if you find this in yellow right now or finding a different color, that means there are the same car of a different color to look for. And that's what you need to know. The Ultra Rage models are totally the same. They're not totally different. They're um they're they're similar cars, but if they say track stars, that's what they are. So this is the uh, this is the uh, different color that has a blue blue window shade same thing as this one but um, a little bit darker than this car I don't know what I don't know why um, uh, but it's a little competitive to see which one they have and the same one as the back and on the side so Ultra Rage gets a better idea I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one in black to make sure um, I keep this one to test this out making sure I have one. So right now let's have a look of uh, of the uh, original cars. Here's um here's what I have is avant-garde. Um I have nothing to say about the avant-garde but it's uh but it's alright. Mm, you know what I don't I don't have another car to uh, that compares with that model so um yeah I'm I'm not sure if uh, if it's the only brand that comes out with. Um, sorry, it's a little bit of white here, but I'm just trying to dim it down. Here you can see a track loop symbol right on your left. Um, looks very good. Uh, Avant-garde might be very good. 
you might be good going for downhill or taking a loop. You might might go for the launch. I don't know. Just saying. Next car up, we have this model. This model right here is T gray. Noticing um, how low this is, and and you can figure it out what brand of a car that will look like. So it's getting very different uh, with this kind of brand of car of a model. But now he joins in. That's a T T gray and track loop symbol right there up there, and the model. Seems like he's a it appears that um that this is the this is another track star um, model that comes in and and joins in from the list, but he's from different year. Sometimes it could be something right or or extremely different. So um let me find out um I'll find that out later once I um once I need to know the information. That's all I need to say. Now we have is the 81 DeLorean DMC. Um, only the first, only the model that uh, that looks like a Back to the Future. And this is the, uh, this looks like the only car that, uh, that has the uh, a shade in. Not with a time machine right there, but if you have the other car like Back to the Future DeLorean, you might be you might be getting it right. If you see the movie Back to the Futures one through three, then it looks like it's something crazy that goes back in time. <laughs> Ever noticing that song? Back in time. Well, I'm not gonna do this because it's a copyrighted claim, so I'm not gonna do it anyway. Because that belongs to the uh, Back to the Future movies. So here's a um, here's a DMC, nice car, and a track loop symbol here. Looks very good. I'm, I'm wishing to get the uh, the time machine of a back Back to the Future DeLorean, but um, that's all I that's all I can count on. The next up we have is the Toyota AE86 Corolla. This is the uh, this is the different kind of a car, but it's a little bit taller than the than the other car. Let me grab let me grab that one back. Then the DeLorean. Every time you notice, um, this car is smaller, and this one, this car right here is big. So every time you uh, you figure out which one's taller, that means uh, Toyota Corolla is taller than the DeLorean model. And different decals on the side that says uh, no the number and and the number right there, but it says the words right here. G ready number ten. And in the back, didn't seem looks like it's not that, not quite different here, as I'm saying. And this um, this front very different, but same thing with a uh, with a plastic base, no metal base on here, metal body, metal body. That means uh, Toyota Corolla has a better look of each uh, brand that he has. So that's what so that will that's what it will look like when keeping an eye on here. CCM Country Club Muscle. I might be comparing by Scorcher that much, but no. It's very different uh, when you take a look at the uh, car branding model. This car was recently came in from the uh, Power Loop Raceway. From this place set, and right here, here as you can see, the uh, track loop symbol is right there. Well, and there's a there's a star right there. That looks like American uh, Muscle. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the CCM will will do really well. What do you, what do you think? Well, let's we'll have to find out pretty much the detail of a car. Now let's go ahead and get right into Circle Tracker. Now this Circle Tracker model is the is a NASCAR brand that is that runs from the Talladega course from uh from this uh, angle that uh that comes in from the speedway. 
but the comparison between the uh, between tracker and trucker this tracker may work well than the trucker than the truck car truck race race car race truck may not be the same thing at all you know it's it's kind of very very different right now every time this one this car is long this car is short because um this is very very different right now yeah uh phil's little brother here circle tracker you get that idea information so when you have circle tracker you get that idea and with circle trucker it will not be compared with the only car that we'll have so that's the only brand of this car that comes out very well and breaking out the edge so that might be so that might be a better smooth car could be fast though good uh good racing from the uh, Talladega Strip well we'll see what that is if I find that out so we're now moving on to the race cars right now so I already showed you circle tracker next up the twin mill 3 looks very good and he, oh, and, and he belongs in a track star so I'm hoping this car will work really well I think uh, I think my brand oh yes um I have other uh, twin mails that I have here um, the flames uh, what do you call that oh yeah the the flames that I do but um, it's gonna get very uh, it's gonna get very well right now the other car may be squeaking a bit I think this mo I think this model might be might be the better size of it and I have the same car twin mail I don't have twin mail two anyway but I I only have is twin mill and one and three. So that this is the only car that I usually get. Could be good for the track. We're gonna find out if he gets there. Next race car we have is uh now we get to formula cars. First up I have is Formulator. Looks very good. There's the name of it. Formulator. And um may not slow down anyway but it looks very interesting wheel stock out I don't know why but it looks like it it's coming out very well um good car to have and the track loop symbol is right on the on the top of the left that's what I'm looking for top of the left I know this hard surface right here is getting very very intense. I don't want to have a mark on the on one of each car, or I'll get I'll get desperate, for sure. But that's uh that's very good to see what the car will look like. Very nice. But another Formula car is one of my favorite. Nope, not the uh, Indy car, not the Grand Prix one, but this one. This is my favorite formula street looks very shiny chrome oh my gosh yeah you 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 know you would have that same kind of car but chrome but if you have a different kind of a color that doesn't have that chrome well that's all you have to take to look at this car my goodness track loop symbol right here metal body plastic base and as you can see the uh track star on the left interesting enough but that's not the also case of a formula car that was happened the only indie car that we have is F1 racer kinda small but it looks a little shaggy this gets very uh... this gets a little bit uh... uh this might be hitting on the uh... on the surface that I notice. I think Dad really likes to take the Indy car, the Grand Prix cars. If I if I if I have that right, F1 racer only uh, track loop symbol right near the wheel. Looks very cool. Now the last three. Starting off, we have is Nightburner. 
And checking out the night birder right from here, you you got an, you got an idea of how that of how this uh, this vehicle will look like. There, as you can see, the steam in the is in here in the middle. And there you got you got a blowhole. You got a blow from the end of the car. Sometimes it comes out from here, but every time you blow. Here, I'll give I'll give you I'll, I'll give you show you I'll show you how how it runs fast. So what I do is to is to blow a vehicle. I cannot I can I can't figure out what the what this car will look like. But every time you blow, it blows like this. You see that it blows very fast. It does not slow down. How crazy is that? This might be the only night burner car that could uh, have that steam out of here. Just noticing if I if I have that attempt to do this one all alone. That's that might be the only car that could work for the track. Next up, uh, second to last, we have is Rocket Fire. Rocket Fire might be a little bit higher from the ground right now because he's not. He's not getting close to that ground. He's kind of like uh, kind of getting a little bit higher from that point. And he's not touching to the ground. So that's the biggest problem that we that we have looked at. And it might be very off steady. And there's a track loop symbol and got a rocket launcher from here. So I don't know if I could take this car, but it looks very very unsteady. And last but not least, we have this a fancy look. This is Berserk with uh with the buzz saw. Now I know this car looks insane, but um, and you got a buzz saw right here, right from there. Sometimes if I if I roll it like this, sometimes the saw might spin. Well. Um, very little high off, but if you're on carpet, if you're on a carpet, the uh, the bus will turn will gate really good. So, if I put it on the floor, as I uh, as I give it a say, all this car, the bus saw comes forward and comes with the cutting. Looks like the house that that should do with the trick. I might find out the bus saw could work from the track and let's see how he does from here okay so I have those cars are lined up right now I have this test run so here you have right here is the uh, is the Angry Birds launcher from the playset of Angry Birds slingshot launch these are the tracks right now that are from uh, from our Hot Wheels setup from each tracks for your cars to be placed in this curve was came from the uh, from other sets, and this curve right here comes here as others as well. And with that being said, let's go ahead and test the run. So without further ado, I'm going to do uh, just a just a little bit, and I'm going to make sure um, three notch will do. Um, I'm going to find out if I have it there. Um, just, just so you know, I'm just gonna make sure uh, everything gets there because I don't want to make four long, four notches. Um, it might be flying a bit too fast, so I'm gonna do right now is just hold three and then let go. So anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and test out one of each cars so we can start the uh, so we can do a race and and then after that we'll do some um, we'll do uh, the jump test. So without further ado, let me go ahead and hinge this right now. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to distract you, but I'm just like, I just need to set up everything. I need to get the sprue, pinch going in here, pit flare going here, pinch going in right here. I'm trying to make sure everything gets here so the car doesn't fall off. And a pinch right here, and then a flare right here. Flare the uh, outside of the track, and then I'll uh, flare the curve. Pinch it right here, and then flare the curve, just to make sure the car doesn't fly over. 
by itself. So with that, I'm gonna find out, and, oop, need a flare, this one here. I know, I'm not in a scene. Sorry. But if you're like Mark, sorry. Can't handle that. <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and do some test runs right now. Make sure I have everything good, and um, camera's on the line, ready to go. First up, um, I'm going to start off with the, the car that never just seemed to be quite so popular before. First up, we have 24 hours, and let's set it up and let the tra test track begin. Looks very good. How about we set up two? So it won't go that really hot, really flying at all. Looks, uh, looks really well. Um, if I have three notches, uh, making sure that might be a little bit too quick here. But if I have two notches, you could do that. So anyway, let's do that. Very, very nice run for 24 hours. Just a little bit, uh, unsteady right now. So we're going to put you right there. That's your spot, um, where it comes through. Next up we have is, uh, Circle Trucker. Mm, not quite far enough. Looks getting close. Next uh, is Nitro Door Slammer. Now, I don't know if he might pop it up. You know what? Let's find out. I think he might be alright. Looks really good. And now, because of Circle Trucker, he might be halfway there. You might have the same look of it. Because this is for every car that I'm, that I'm looking for. It might be exact same thing once the car gets released. It might be good. It might not be. Fast cash. Fast all the way for the end. We're going to put you right here. Just to make sure I have, I have the right amount. Motor blade. Good car. Little pop up, but it made it through. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put, put those two guys here. Up now we have torque twister. Whoa, we made it third in uh, them fast cash and mortal blade, but uh, but not quite far enough from 24 hours after torque twister. Open Roadster. Mm. Just a little bit past behind, uh, behind Circle Chucker, of course. After him, then I have Split Vision. Almost there. But I'm going to put you right there. These are the finishes right down there, just to make sure I have it here. And after that, have Solar Reflex. Got the shining top right here. Passing it through, halfway there. Right behind Split Vision, Imbavito 1. Whoa, woohoo, he's flying fast. Looking very good. Nice, nice job. Scorcher. He might be have that spot there. I, I, I don't know if it's going to work for the launcher. That'll work for him. There's a lot of track cars here. I'm going to keep it going. After the first line, I'll do the second line. And then we'll head to the next test, and then uh, we'll find out what the race is. Nerve Hammer. All the way through. Put it right here. Dragon Tail. Right almost next to Open Roadster. 
Retroactive. A battery. For the gamer, of course. All the way. Just another one to get their pass. Last up in the first group is, of course, um, of course, the race group's favorite, Scoopa de Fuego. Make it! Ah, beautiful. Looks very good. In order to be fair to get everything, everything right and make it all the way, I add another track here to make sure I have a better, uh, better punch, and then, and uh, then I will, uh, I'll do, uh, I'll do more better as soon as I can to, uh, to fix every track it is. So the first group is done. So, um, so right now I have is was it was fast cash. It was um, solar reflux. Actually, not that really. It was 24 hours. Circle trucker. Um, I'm just going line by line. Then, um, then we got nitro door slammer. Then, of course, we have is fast cash. Then the motor blade. Um, I'm just going for the same line, like um, like like uh, Mark does. If you guys don't know him, I, I don't I don't think you're not gonna. I don't think you're not gonna do it anyway, so um, I'm, I'm gonna make sure uh, everything gets there. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna judge on that. So, so with that, I have um, lot more, lot more uh, complete better right now. So, and then, uh, and then I'll keep that one going. All right, let's move uh, line two down, and then my one will move up from here. Or you could like, at least stay back right now because you'll never know uh, one of those cars could get wiped out or like that. So if one of the cars uh, get wiped out here, so they will fly eventually, of course. Here we go, line number two, and I had a assist. This is 13 Ford Mustang GT, um, track star, and also um, doesn't have a track loop symbol in here. So if you have this car that doesn't have a track loop symbol, they're, then they're not track stars. So I'm just gonna make sure I have a, because I have the tracks, make sure I can put it in the list, just to make sure uh, everything gets there right. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, here we go. Line number two. Starting off, Ultra Rage. Oh, he made it through. We'll put that right there. Next up, we have is Avant Guard. Just two notches. You made it through all the way. It went really fast. Uh oh. We might have our first car that flies off. Now let's see. Oh, I think he's stuck on this. There's a hole there. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't know what's going to happen here. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. Let me make sure. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I, I. I think I have a launcher here. I don't know which one should I pick. Hmm. Oh well. He there's a little bit of hold there, right down there. So uh, unfortunately for Avant Guard, I'm gonna leave it right here. That will be not be fair at all. At all the cost that it will happen right here. So after Avant Guard. And I have is T Gray. Made it through. Right next to Ultra Rage. 81 DeLorean, the DMC. I call it DMC. It's abbreviated. Flies fast, but he made it. After uh, the after the DeLorean model, you have a Toyota Corolla. Oh, ooh! It looks like he was almost there. I think he made it away. You know what? He made it all the way, but didn't quite make it fast enough to to, uh, to go over through. So that's kind of a little uh, very good. CCM. He 
He made it there too. He joins in the party. After CCM, then we have Circle Tracker. The Tracker. Trucker may be a little bit too slow. May not be that far enough. That's more realistic. Because the Trucker was not, not kind of good at all, just making sure it needs to be a lot more better to get everything you might you might have the better car to pick right now that's what that's what happens when the cars get very blocked up twin L3 he joins in he made it flying over it formulator Gets stuck by the curve almost. My favorite car. He looks like he's so fast. Probably something that you may never know. Formula Street. Ah, yes. I knew he was going to make it. Almost popped off and off the course. Almost got crashed, but he made it. F1 Racer. Uh. Let me try that again. I don't think uh, F1 Racer did the right thing. I think that's a hole. That's a, I think that's a, it's popping out. Hmm. Well, that might be too soon right now. So we're gonna have to give him give him a, another launcher because that's not quite right. So after F1 Racer, then we have is Night Burner. I guess that boost really worked well. Very good. Rocket fire. Uh-oh, number one again. So only three cars just may have plopped out. I don't think this whole one work. Hmm. Let me try it backwards and see if it works. quite all right but not enough to make it through and get in the party he's almost there not quite enough to get in there to do it some reason I'm afraid that buzzer might flop, flop over too I don't think four won't be enough might be messing up yeah he's no good either how about backwards That didn't work either. Yeah, that's because there's a little bit of hole. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a different uh, launcher. Try to get that better. But I'm gonna find out if I get this. Well, this might be too much to get through. Yeah, we're gonna leave it right in the middle. And last but not least, this good car, 13 Ford Mustang GT. He makes it, and he does. In order to be fair for the uh, two cars, like Avant Garde and Berserk, um, I have this new launcher that will be the double takedown part. I, I took off the Angry Birds launcher, and this one has no hole right from here. That might be a little bit better. Yeah, there. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's a lot more better to take one here. And I'm gonna start with Avant Garde first. Let's see how well he could do. Here he goes. A little slow. Let me add three notch. Maybe uh maybe I'll try that one again. I think I didn't mean to do that. That's more realistic. And he makes it in. You know, other ones, I um I try to make sure I get the um get the other launchers back in, back at another time by the car and 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 since I mentioned it, uh it might be a better better idea to, uh, to give it a good shot right from here so we're just gonna keep a uh, take couple cars with uh, with each and then we'll see how that one works I'm gonna put this one backwards oh oh he stopped well I guess Berserk uh, makes a win
Okay, it's, it's time to do the uh, jump test, and then we will do the uh, race day to, uh, to see who could win the competition. As of right now, I'm just going to be uh, taking a look uh, and see. I have this uh, length down there, and um, this is the in-between from the uh, track, from the jump, and from the ramp. From the ramp and the catcher right down there. So, with that being said, what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to let uh, Avant Guard go first. Because um, he might be uh, off the target. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this one a call. And then we'll find out if, uh, if three notches good to take the ramp. So, anyway, let's find out what will happen here. And we're going to see uh, if he can make it. Hopefully it will work as soon as possible. Here we go. Whoa, flying that too fast. Gotta bring uh, Avant Guard back. How about the two notch? We gotta make. How about this two notch? We're gonna see if it works. Looking very good. Quite off the target, but uh, we'll uh, we'll keep it from here. Three notch might be too much right now. It might be too strong, but let's. I think we'll uh, we'll do a, a get rid of this launcher, and then um, we'll see you how what else we have here. Oh, let's go ahead and uh, let's meet let's meet the lineups for the first line. But um, yeah, I do the second line. From the second line, I'm gonna I'm just letting Avant Guard go first. Making sure everything gets better. So, let's get off the start. 24 hours. Let's uh, let's see what jump could he do. Good jump here, passing it by by uh by avant guard. I'm sorry. Um, if you guys can see it from here, that, that's um that's where the uh that's where the curve is at. So there you go. That's the first one. Next up, circle trucker. Just got stuck right from the curve, but um, not far enough, my friend. Not far enough for you. We're just going to have to see what else we have. Next up, Nitro Door Slammer. Jumped over, made it through. Oh, he, he flipped. He flipped down right from the, uh, from the curve, so I'll give it to that. Fast cash. Let's see how what he can do. Here he comes. Oh, are you okay? Punch that one for just a quick second. There you go. Fix the catcher. Making sure I need to make some adjustments a little bit. Making sure everything gets there fine. All right, here we go. Giving you another shot, fast cash. Here we go. Off he goes. Looks very nice, uh, but in between, by those two cars, and past Nitro Door Slammer. 24 hours in avant garde, looking alright. Now we got Mortal Blade. Looking good. Oh, a little bit past here. Uh, it's gonna be right here. Looking very good. Torque Twister. Trying to make sure it works. Here he goes. Wow! No, uh, no fails in that one. Looking very good. Try to give it a good look for the run. Open Roadster. Oh, you got stuck up there. Not may not be powerful enough. I'll give him a three. Let's see if that works. Well, he crashed already, but then seemed like he's not gonna keep it up here. Last try. For, for free notches for open roadster. 
Well, you didn't get there in time. You fail. You upside down. After that, we have a split vision. After split vision, then we got solar reflex. Give him more power, just making sure everything gets good. Hold on, let me fix that catcher here. Off he goes. Ah, crashed a little bit already. Going back to two. He's a little bit metal. I have this, I have the, uh, I have the metal body, metal base version right now. Getting a little bit, getting a little bit heavy. No cars passed yet. Just passed split vision and now, uh, now he'll be here. I know, I'm sorry about that, but it's, it's getting distracting right now. Might be the water. Embodido one. Can he be the first one to make it? Oh, looks like he's throwing that bad, but uh, how about if I give him a, a bigger distance here? Hmm, I don't know if it's gonna work right. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like he's not getting off of the mood. Let me move back, make this straight. How about this way? Can he work? Here he goes. Well, the uh, well, the track might be a little bit hot. Hold on, I'll give you a, I'll give you another attempt, but the last try. Pinch, make sure everything gets working really well. Pinch, flare, pinch the curve. Please don't do it yourself. You have to, but if you might, you might get that better. And right, now um. Some track stars might get better, but they might have a standard position. If I be a one again, Vert try. Well, that was that was rough. That was rough on that spot. Last try. We're gonna leave you right here because you passed. Not quite enough to make it from the handle, so um, just making sure it works that good. All right, back from here. Next up, Scorcher. Wow, pass through quickly. <sighs> After Scorcher. Now we get to Nerve Hammer. You little metal. How about one more time? Might be metal, a metal base. You wound up in the same spot, but oh wait. No. Not quite enough. Next up is Dragon Tail. He's got the bugs on there. He's got that wings. He might be cheating. That might not be fair. <laughs> He's got to need to fly his wings. <laughs> you show off. God dang you. Last try. Does not make it. Failed. Two cars left. Retroactive and Scoopa de Fuego. And the second line will start from here. Retroactive. Passed over by uh, Scorcher. Now, everyone's favorite. Mark's favorite. The Scoopa de Fuego. And he's the first one to get here through. There's your first finisher. 
from line one. Nobody else didn't get there that time, but it looks like that's all we have here left. Now let's get to the second line. Second line, I'm gonna make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more deeper. Starting off is Ultra Rage. Um, I don't know about him. Let's see. He does. Looking very solid work. Just, uh, just right from avant-garde where he was at. Up next is T. Gray. Wow, look at him. He's looking very sharp out there. He joins with, with the Di Fuego. Scupa Di Fuego, I meant. Eighty one DeLorean, the DMC. <laughs> Wipes out on the curve, but um, he sticks up. Um, let me do it from here. A lot of cars are in the traffic from the curve. Might be tough, like an ice skate rink or track. I don't know. Now this is Toyota Corolla. See if he could do it. Only two cars made it. <laughs> what was that? He didn't see that one coming. I don't know what. I think he might not be ready yet. He might challenge a little bit if I get them free notches. Oh, he didn't make it. Last try. Nope, you want wound up upside down. Well, I'm gonna leave it from here. Shockingly, I got the car too soon right now, but it looks so frustrated. CCM. Oh, flop that again. Go give the back three launches. Just give it a my at it. If I make cat, if I can. Crash the curve, a little bit too high up. This catch right here is coming apart. I'm gonna need to make sure I have it, uh, a good segment. CCM, no problem. Three times in a row. Now he joins with off with T grade and Scoop of Fuego, but up next, is Circle Tracker. Almost. Um, leave you off right here so you don't get hit by other cars as well. Twin Mill 3. Lift off short, but right next to it is to 24 hours. Formulator. After that, Formula Street. Wow, he's flying really fast. No crash there. He's a star. F1 racer. Might be flying too fast if I uh, if I give him one. You got, if I give him two notch, not one notch, because then that's not going to be enough. Oh man. Two notch is okay, but he's right next to uh, Formulator. Four cars left. Night burner. Uh, seriously? I thought you worked. 
think it's not enough power for uh, for Nightburner to handle. He's off the range. Third one will take it. Uh, not quite enough. We'll have to take that. We'll have to take it from here. Not quite in it. Not all the way through. He's close, but didn't make it yet. But he's right next to a circle tracker. Rocket fire. Flies up pretty good. Now it's in traffic. It's a pain. It's a pain in the butt. Buzzark with the buzz saw. Whip. I'm. Come on, Berserk. I'm just joking with you. Off the course. I'll have to put. I'll. I'll wait. I'll. Uh, I'll put you back into two. So you can get that one right. Just a little bit from here. Well, it's not quite getting there that intense speed it goes from here, so, uh... That crazy berserk was just trying to flop out of here, trying to get rid of a ramp. I don't know if, uh, if, uh, if he could do it anyway like that. If he, if he, if he flies off and he goes backwards funny, then he might be off the hook. And last but not least, 13. The Ford Mustang GT crashed. Come back here. Gonna give you a little bit. See if you can make it. And he does it. So there's our there are your here are your four winners. Scupa de Fuego, Tigre, CCM, and Formula Street. Since Wire Beach Track Stars did complete their test, they're doing really well to keep things back up in the pace. But right now, they are here to take on with a big setup. This is the moment of the four lane downhill raceway. As you can see right now, this will be standing tall. And then the racers will come down and head to the finish line right here. Yes, um, this I haven't done this one a lot, but if you guys think I'm doing it, don't worry. I'm still trying to figure out another way to get things done. So with that, one of each racers, one car will win, and then three cars will take the head-to-head -to, -head to finish it up. And then the last two cars... If they lose, then they are eliminated. And they'll be heading to the sideline to see who will win. So with that further ado, let's get the racers on the board. These are the heat matchups that will be uh, play that will be on the verse to take the race. Heat number one will be DeLorean, Open Roadster, Circle Tracker, 24 hours. Heat number two, Fast Cash, Twin Mill 3, Nitro Door Slammer, Sin and CCM. Heat number three, Avant Guard, Tur Torque Twister, sorry with the confusion, 13 Ford Mustang GT, and Circle Trucker. Heat four, Scorcher, Ultra Rage, Split Vision, and T Gray. Heat number five, to the uh, Toyota AE86 Corolla. M. Bobby the One, Rocket Fire, and Moto Blade. Heat number six, Nerve Hammer, Formula Street, Scupa de Fuego, and Formulator. Heat seven, Berserk, Solar Reflex, Night Burner, and Retroactive. And heat number eight. Wait, wait a second. What are those two cars doing in here? Oh, some diecast model. Looks like uh, we don't have enough track stars to keep, so we're gonna have we're gonna bring them assist. As for this car, what does it say? Oh, 
95 Mitsubishi Eclipse will take it over. Then Dragonfly. Dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dragon Tail. I'm sorry. I'm making confusions. Then it's the Volkswagen Jetta MK3. And finally, the verse will be F1 Racer. Here we go. Round one, heat number one. 24 hours in lane one. Circle Tracker in lane two. Van Open Roadster in lane three. And finally, the 81 DeLorean in lane four. Make sure everything's set up. And then we're going to see who can make the first win right from the deal. Here we go. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. First winner we have is going to be the first race of the heat. So let's have a look at these pegs. Starting off, third lane was Open Roadster. Fourth place, third place was Circle Tracker. Second place is the 81 DeLorean. And first place winner, lane one, will be 24 hours. Second to last try will be uh, will be 81 DeLorean. Then it, then we have is uh is Open Roadster and Circle Tracker. Remember, if they did not win, that means they get one try left. Yes, there is no third try right now. I'm serious. Okay. So one car will face against 24 hours, and if the other car, other cars don't win, then they're out. On your mark, get set. That time it was, let's take a look and see who made a win. So third place, uh, open roadster. Second place, that was Circle Tracker. And first place, going against 24 hours, is 81 DeLorean. Heat number two, CCM, Country Club Muscle. So American. Wait. Hold on a second. Be right back. Nitro Door Slammer. Twin Mail 3. And finally, Fast Cash. Three, two, one. Lane one. That might be taking a better, better look at the replay since two cars are just going neck to neck. What a play. So fourth place, Nitro Door Slammer. Third place, Fast Cash. He would have been so fast already. Second place is Twin Mill 3. And first place, that was CCM. Second to last try will be Fast Cash. Then Nitro Door Slammer. And finally, Twin Mail 3. Only lane one gets faster than other lanes so far. Let's uh let's find out who will advance to take on the four cars. Three Two, one. Lane three, let's have a quick close look at the finish line check. Here we have uh, 
Nitro Door Slammer in third place. Second place, Fast Cash. Oh, didn't seem too well. Well, we only have a first place winner. In lane three, Twim L3. Heat number three, Avant Guard. Twerk Twister. 13 Ford Mustang GT. And Circle Trucker. Might be a little bit long. I don't know if he might uh, might get far enough than, uh, than Avant Guard. I just need to push that one back so it stays in one place so it doesn't get too tight like for all of a sudden. Just a reason if I get there. Here's lane three, Torque Twister, and lane one, Circle Trucker, which the first uh first section and second section in the other lane, Avant Garde and Ford Mustang GT thirteen. In four and two. Set Go! Let's check out the finish line from the po podium. Here we have uh, fourth place was Circle Trucker. Third place, Torque Twister. Second place, 13 Ford Mustang GT. And winner in lane four, Avant Guard. And second to last try, without being whacked, we have is Torque Twister in lane three, Ford Mustang GT in lane two, and Circle Trucker in lane one. It's a little bit long. I don't know what, what will happen with Circle Trucker that time. He's not getting very good, so Circle Tracker's out. So that might not be a good point to, uh, to get through in that lane. Just making sure everything gets good. I stop the shaking this right from here. Here we go, last try for free, for those three cars. Set, go. Let's check out the race to the uh, finish line. So, third place, Circle Trucker. Not that well to get that behaved. Second place, was Torque Twister and that means first place 13 Ford Mustang GT takes advance to the next round Heat number four Scorcher on the fourth lane Ultra Rage in the second lane third lane Sorry about that, I'm making confusion. Split vision in the second lane. And finally, T Gray in the first lane. Heat four, get ready. Three, two, one. Let's check out to the finish line and we got a winner. So let's go ahead and head over to the uh to the finishing line right here. Fourth place, that was Ultra Rage. Third place was um was split vision in second place that went T Gray and first place in lane four was Scorcher Final try Ultra Rage Split Vision and T Gray Oops Just a little bit flopped up with the uh car I'm sorry I didn't mean to do it. Three, two, one. That was even tougher than I thought. Let's go to the finish line post. Third place, Ultra Rage. In second place, it was Split Vision. That means winner in lane one, T Gray.
Heat number five. Toyota AE86 um, Corolla. Imbavito one. Okay, Imbravo. Imbravo. I don't know. Rocket fire. Might be sticking out behind. He might be getting too close to the uh, to that one here. I don't know what that is. And mortar blade, mortal blade. Right in lane one. Heat five. Get set. Go. Where that was very close between those two numbers. Hmm. I must take a look at the finish line and see who took it. So in fourth place, it was Rocket Fire. Wasn't getting to a good start. Third place, it was Mortar Blade. Second place, wow, didn't didn't notice what just happened. But it looks like Lane Four winner, Toyota Corolla. Last try will be Imbavito 1, Rocket Fire. Ugh, it's getting a little stuck. And Mortal Blade. Last try. Set. Go. Good run so far, but way, way faster than I thought. Rocket Fire off with an end. Second place, Mortar Blade, and the winner, Lane 3, taking on Impavito 1. Here are some cars that are eliminated in the first round after they made a second try, worstful, and they failed. Right now, let's head back to the uh, race and do the next competitive competitor matchup. Heat number six. Nerve Hammer on lane four. Formula Street in in lane number three. Scoopa de Fuego in uh, in lane two. And Formulator in lane one. Heat six is up and here we go. Heat six in three Two, one, go. Well, a close one to call from here. We're gonna see who made a win at the at the podium. Fourth place it was. So the worst one, the that comes up with formulator. Third place, Scoopa de Fuego. I'm I'm surprised. Then Nerve Hammer in second place. But that means this looking fella car in lane three is Formula Street. Heading to the next round after they pick a, take another win to another place matchup. Last try will be Nerve Hammer from lane four. Lane two, Scoopa de Fuego and Lane one, Formula Air. On your mark, get set, go! The winner of that one. Let's get a close look at the podium and see who takes the win. Third place, it was Formula Air. Second place was Nerve Hammer. And the winner from lane two, Scoopa de Fuego. Mark's favorite car is trying to go for a head on me. Man, looks very good, but he moves on. Here are some cars that are advancing to the next round. Making sure everything looks good from heat one, two, three, four. Five, six, but there's two more left. Heat number seven, Berserk on in lane four, Solar Reflex, lane three, 
Lane two, Nightburner. And lane one, Retroactive. The battery there. I wonder if that will work. Let's find out who will take the win. Three, two, one. Let's have a look at the podium. This was a nice race. I think one power might be enough. Here in fourth place we have is Solar Reflex. Third place, Nightburner. Second place, Berserk. Winner in lane one, Retroactive. I know it works very good because that's the battery what, what will happen with the percentage. He's looking very good. Last attempt will be Berserk, Solar Reflex, and Nightburner. One more, one more try. Three, two, one. Let's take a quick look. This looks like the attack was there. Lane, um, lane three, third place was Solar Reflex. Second place was Nightburner. And the winner, first place in lane number four, Berserk. That bus saw gave him attack already. So right now, the attack between the battery and the saw. And finally, in heat number eight, we have is the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Some diecast wheels of uh, that I noticed this. This one from the Fast and Furious set. You that I know. Then Dragon Tail in the third, third lane. I meant to say that one. Then we got Volkswagen Jetta MK3 in lane number two, and in lane one, F1 Racer. This should be a fun match. Here we go, the last group from Heat Eight. Let's see which one will win. Ready, set, go! Close matchup, but let's uh, have a look at the finish line and take a quick look. So, fourth place was Dragon Tail. Third place was Mitsubishi's Eclipse. Second place, Volkswagen. And first place, Lane 1, F1. Racer did not see that close call after I after I noticed uh, there was something better to give it a change So all right last try for those three cars, and then we'll uh, head to the second round Last three attempt Last attempt I should say we're going to see who will get to the next round and see which one will head to round two. On your mark, get set. Yeah, we got a winner. So, with that being said, let's have a look one more time. Third place, Dragon Tail. Second place, Mishibitsu's. And the winner in lane two, that is Volkswagen Jetta. Looks very good right now. And two cars are out. One car from the uh, from the Mitsubishi Eclipse from the Fast and Furious, and the Dragon Tail. They're both out. I'm sorry, guys. We are on to round two. Four, four cars from each heat um, that made a win was, was 24 hours, 81 DeLorean in heat one. Then heat two was CCM and Twin Mill three. They will now be facing from each category in heat number one. 
Heat 3 was avant-garde. And the 13 Ford Mustang GT. And Heat 4 was Scorcher and Tigre. That will be connected up in Heat number 2. Heat 5 was the Toyota 8. I'm sorry, Toyota Corolla. I'm going to say it that way. In Bobito 1. In Heat 6. The matchup, the death one, showing no mercy. Formula Street against Scupa de Fuego in heat number three. And in and we have and in, in heat seven, we have his retroactive and the and the berserk with the buzzsaw with the battle of attack from the finish. And in heat eight, F1 racer and Volkswagen. All right, let's kick it off with the overdrive. Here we have round number two, all set up right now. Now, 24 hours was just the only way that was gonna get fast, but um, but only have 24 hours long. He never gets tired already, but I don't know if that's the name of it, name of the car. But it happened by 24 hour. But I did the awake challenge. You guys remember that? Remember that? Check out my review. Um, gonna make sure I have it right. Um, I don't know what do I have to do with uh, with an hour challenge. It seems like it's getting a little bit uh, unheavy right now, but it doesn't. Might it might not catch up anyway. So without that, let's see who will take that from here. Heat one, get ready, get set. Go! So we got a winner, and let's catch up on the uh, finishing line in the post. Fourth place, that was 81 DeLorean, the DMC. Was a little bit off balance, but got it back on. Third place was CCM, Country Club Muscle. Second place, it was 24 hours. And we have a winner in lane one. Twin Mills 3, advancing to the third. Last try will be free cars. 24 hours, CCM, and 81 DeLorean. The Red are looking furious, but only one showed out to be American. By the red, white, and blue. Three, two, one. And let's go ahead and take a quick look from the finishing uh from the finish line. Third place, 81 DeLorean. Came out really upsetting. In the in third lane, second place, CCM in lane two, and the winner in lane four. 24 hours. Whatever gets asleep right now, but it looks like he gets there just in time. <laughs> I I always know that. I'm just trying to get that one up. Heat number two. We have is avant garde from lane four. And 13 Ford Mustang GT in the. Uh, in lane three. Then is Scorcher in lane number two. And in lane one will be T Gray. Here we go, heat two. Get ready. Three, two, one. Wow, upset pulls on a stomach between the outer lane and the inner lane. Let's have a look and see what we have. Fourth place was Avant Garde. Third place was 14 Ford Mustang. Second place was Tigre. Winner from lane two, Scorcher. Showed an upset by those teams. Looking very, very hard. But not for long. He moves on. Last attempt. This will be 
this will be the uh, last man standing in in the second try but there might not be enough if somebody could take that win here we go last uh last attempt let's see who's going to take the fight last attempt three two one so that might be a tough decision to go through let's go to the finish line upset pulling up that was Ford Mustang GT Vanguard, no mercy again man winner in lane one yep that does it from here Wow I have no words to know about this but T Gray done it again he's heading on to the next round before he advanced to semi-finals Heat number three, we have his uh, Toyota Yo Corolla, M. Bavido one, and now the two Meansters. The Formula and Scoopa Di Fuego. Let's see who could take the win. Get ready, get steady, go. Wow. Breakable run, no ahead. Let's set, let's set to the finish line. Remember here for fourth place, Mbavido one. Third place, Formula Street. Second place was Toyota Corolla. And now we've got a revenge in lane one in the first place. Heading on, Scoopa Di Fuego. This could be a tough time when nobody's in a hurry. Last three attempts is Toyota Corolla, M Pavito One, and my favorite car, Formula Street. This has got to be something very, very intensive to get from here. Here we go. Last try. Last try. Three, two, one. Looks like we got an upset going here. Let's see who could that be. Third place, Corolla. Well, that that comeback was my favorite Formula Street. I'm taking a revenge over and over again. All right, heat number four, last group here. You have is retroactive taking the taking the fight by energy against the saw, the buzzer, the buzz saw. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just like, I'm getting a little bit nerve-wrecking right in between. But I'm not sure who will who will take that spite out from them. So, yeah, I don't know what will happen here. So, let's, let's find out who takes it from here. We have uh, F1 Racer and Volkswagen Vit. Um... Sorry about that. I'm getting confused. Uh, sorry with the sorry with the interruption. Jetta, Jetta, Jetta. Okay. All right. Here we go. Last one on. All right. Heat four. Last group here. Three, two, one. Once again, we got a flying vehicle chasing after it. Here's a look of it one more time. Lane two, F1 racer. It was in fourth place. Then it was Volkswagen. Third place. Second place. Berserk. And lane four winner in first place. Retroactive. Seemed like no other than this battery. <laughs> Looks like it worked.
final try. As with that being said, Berserk, gotta stick it up. Then F1 Racer. And finally, the Volkswagen Jetta. Yep, Jetta. That's what the name is. Last try. Three, two, one. And we got a stoppable run to see who has just won as we are heading close right from here. Let's see who took one. Oh, F1 Racers out. For third place, second place with Volkswagen. And I put back. That was Buzzer. Buzzsaw going for the rematch. And we'll find out who will take this win. All right, everyone, it's time for a halftime show. Here we got the Batmobile, a very nice TV series Batmobile. Looks very cool. And the matchup that went out really early, but the to but the Mystery Bitchu's Eclipse will take another chance for a halftime race. Volkswagen went out of business to go through a win, but the buzzsaw just got cut and sliced him in half. So he's doing this again. And a surprise matchup, the Angry Bird matchup. It's between Red and... Oh, I don't know why is he angry. Let's see who takes that one with. Alright, so first one in the halftime show will be Batmobile. The biggest, biggest story yet. I ever believed it about, about being the Batmobile in, in the car, but... Now you know the picture. Looks like it's looking very good. The one from the Fast and Furious was, uh... Was the Toyo Mitsubishi's Eclipse. And then, yeah, this looking fancy car. Amazing one. Another one for Fast and Furious? I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens right now. It looks like he is. We'll have to find out which, uh, which one will it be. Three contestant cars are on here. Let's see who takes the first one to take it again. That will be the winner, and lane two will be the winner of that one. This one means the Volkswagen Jetta has head on to the next round. Let's head on to take the semifinals and see what happens here. Just resetting everything as best as I can. Now the last chance. I hope someone is going to take a gants on me. I can never be defeated. And here are the last two cars in the middle. Batmobile on the left and Mr. Bitsu Eclipse from the Fast and Furious on the right. And we got a winner that will bring up the TV series Batmobile. Looking stoppable on Fantastic with the urn and takes out. The Mitsubishi Eclipse. Hey, man. We'll get it next time. Yeah, good race. I really like it anyway. You deserve it. And they're off. And now it's time for the Angry Birds matchup. On the left hand we have is a Minion Pig. And on the right is Red Bird. Let's see who takes the swing. Start your car. The match is on. Who takes the win? And the first winner that comes up from the short line is Minion Pig. Only Pig never knows he steals the eggs. <laughs> but Red Bird wants to rematch it and give it another try. And now they have decided to do it another one as Redbird goes to the left lane and Minion Pig on the right lane. Let's see what match we have. Match coming in. 
Let's see who takes this spot between those two to the finish. And it's off. Who will it be? And two winner times in a row as the Minion Pig deserves to take the eggs away. What a astounding crowd they are. And now the last two contestants are right at the starting line. The Batmobile and the Volkswagen. Here we go right now. This time we're going to see who could take this win and receive a, a champion. Yeah, that's all I can say. Here we go. Who's going to win? And it is Volkswagen with an outstanding win. And there's your winner, folks, on the halftime show. Congratulations. And you are the champion. Yes, I am the champion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I am. I look good. Hey, yeah. take it easy. Batmobile's got some other jumps to do. We'll see how it goes. Do your best, kid. You too. <clears throat> well, folks, that's the end of a halftime. And now let's get back to the show. All right, we are back right now for the for the uh, another racing matchup from Track Starts. As you can see, these are two competitors that are going to take the number look of a rematch. And remember, the final four will be determining the last two of the championship race. So, in first group, group one from the from the heat will be Twin Mail 3, 24 Hours, Scorcher, and Tigre. And in the other hand, Scoopa de Fuego, Formula Street, Retroactive, and Berserk. Let's find out who will take the win from here. Here we go. Let's see who will take this win. This one right here. Then we have another one right here. And this one here. And then we have his Tigre. All right, let's see who can take this win and head to the semi to the semifinals. All right, racing to the semifinals. Here we go. Mark, set, go. Well, here we go. Let's see who takes this win while I head to the, over to the finish line. First, we have in fourth place, uh, it's 24 hours. Third place, this was uh, T. Gray in second place. That was uh, Twin Mill 3. And the winner in first place in lane 2, Scorcher. Just knocking out all over the place. Just realize he wants to get to the final four. Here are the last three. Going for a second try. They need some way to take that win. If 24 hours cannot make the win, then T Gray wins. If T Gray does not win, then Twim L3 will win. If Twim L3 doesn't win, then 24 hours takes that win. We're not sure who will it be, but let's find out what competition gets through. Here we go. Last try. Three, two, one. And we got a winner. Twim L3 has moved on to the next round. 24 Hours and Tigre are both eliminated. And the last four up we have is Scoopa de Fuego, right from lane four. Formula Street in uh, in lane three. This could be the neck and neck battle between the two favorite cars at that moment. Retroactive and Buzzard facing no mercy at all. Let's see who takes that win. Are you ready? Set, go. Well, this might be shocking. One of each two was going to take that bus down, but nothing happened. So let's go ahead and take a look at the finish line at the post. 
Uh, Formula Street got crushed. Then we have his retroactive. What's going on? This one puts now a big trouble at all. Winner in lane four. The scoop of Di Fuego. All right, last attempt. Three cars left to go. One could be the winner. One car could be the winner, and the other car could be upset. Those two cars. Remember, one car takes to the semifinals. The rest of the two are eliminated, and we'll have to watch from the side. So anyway, here we go. Last attempt for those three. If my favorite car doesn't win, then it's over. Then somebody was going to have to win right from here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, that's it. Formula Street and Berserk are done. That means... The winner to the to advancing the semifinals is retroactive. Tough loss by those two. We'll have to uh, keep going again. All right, it's time for the final four. Here they are, folks. Let's see who's going to take the win. So I'm going to start with the first two. So, first two up we have is Scorcher, right here, taken up against Twim L3. The semifinals begins now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Twim L3 advances to the finals. Scorcher is out. And last up, Scoopa de Fuego against Retroactive. Winners move on to the finals. Here we go. Scoopa de Fuego and Retroactive. Set, go. An upsetting takes place. Retroactive stays alive. Scoopa de Fuego is out. What a shock. I cannot believe it. All right, last race. This is for the championship round. It's between Twim L3 versus Retroactive. Who will take home the winner of being a track star champion? We'll find out and see what we have. This is it, the last one. Now remember, one car will take the win and the other car will have to keep it off in second place. Here we go. Championship starting in three, two, one. Retroactive wins. Twim L3 with an upsetting. And wow, what a race has been for the track stars. Before we congratulate Retroactive as being the Attract Star Champion, here's a take a look at the eliminations. First round. Then a second round. Third, right from here, uh, before the, uh, the Elite was being pushed up. Then the finals. Final, um, semi-final, right from here. The halftime reporters, like a thank you very much for your for your effort. And the winner, Retroactive. The all-time personal car that ever has a battery and it works really well. Runs fast 
and Dwimmel three in second right now. We could have done it without you, and it was a fun blast seeing those cars and looking all over the mirror. So thank you so much, Dwimmel three, your support, and you may leave and drive your home safely. So, anyways, that's what do with for the uh, for the track stars of the of the race day, and. We have done some testing right now, and your blind ups has been complete. So anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on my social media, and like this video if you, uh, if you uh, give it a thumbs up. So anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy your uh, part. Now, the uh, link right here for, for Race Grooves is coming out in just, in just 15 seconds right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget. Just do what you could do and do the best thing as you can. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy watching this part too. And as always, peace out everyone. Cries a while as the track star Hot Wheels dial. Bye bye everyone.